Adventures with Dawn. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to try a little winter camping. Hopefully in the snow. I've been watching all these YouTube videos of people out there in their vans and their motorhomes camping in snow, having heavy snow on them. I don't have a van or a motorhome, but I got a tent. So I'm going to pitch a tent and I'm not going to travel far for it. I'm going to do it right here at my own abode. So it's beautiful out right now, short sleeve weather, but it's supposed to be snowing by morning. So let's get the tent pitched up and everything put inside and let's see how it goes. Of course my tent doesn't have a rain fly so I have to put a tarp over the top of it. So it may look hokey but that's not what it's all about. It's all about the adventure. So let's start pitching some stakes into the ground and putting the tent up and get ready for the snow. Well let's hope it's snowing. Well, here's the setup. Got the tent up, got the tarp over it. Show you why in a second. One thing about this tent that I really like is it has a door. It isn't just a screen, it's actually got a door. And here we are inside. Put a little table over there for later. Got my bed down. Still gotta find a pillow. And we have a little vestibule. Put my chair in it. And even though this is a Coleman tent, I've never, every time I've used this tent, it's been nice weather, so I haven't had to worry about a rain fly, which I thought it had, but apparently not. So all of this is open screening, which is why I had to put a tarp over it. Now I'm imagining that this isn't going to be great for keeping in any heat but it is what it is and it's starting to snow outside so I probably should get the rest of this ready in case it really starts snowing probably can't even tell on the camera right now it's snowing so hard Well, it didn't snow last night like the weatherman told us it was going to. <laughs> weatherman being wrong. That's weird. Uh, there is some snow flurries going on right now outside. Uh, nothing accumulating or anything, but eh. More is supposed to come in this afternoon and this evening. So we'll see where that goes. Got everything set up though. Uh, I had to tie down one corner of the tarp uh, with a storm coming in, there's wind, and one end would fly up and like a fan coming in here, so that's not good. But hopefully we'll stay pretty warm, or reasonably warm anyway. Uh, time will tell. But we got the bed set up, got a table here. One of the things they're supposed to do always apparently on these camping deals is have a cocktail. Well, I don't have a cocktail yet, but I'm willing to go that far. So later I might have a cocktail. Now, probably not even, probably, I will have a cocktail later. But until then, 
Uh, we're just sitting here relaxing. Got Fluffy and uh, Princess here just uh, running around like crazy, waiting for them to knock over the camera. <laughs> Diane will understand. It's no big deal. So let's see. What, hey, let's see how the day goes, and hopefully more snow and cocktails and food later. Well, the snow has stopped for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it really hasn't snowed very much. A couple of flurries. Nothing like they said it was going to be. So there's no time like the present to have a nice little cocktail. Boulder Peak Vodka from a local distributor. Denny Bar Distillery. Really good. Yeah, I thought I'd just relax with some something to drink before dinner. And figure out what I'm gonna have for dinner because you always have to show a meal on these YouTube videos. So yeah, I'll see what I'm gonna have for that. First they usually have a campfire that they cook it over or something like that, but all the snow can't really get a fire going I wonder what tonight has in store for it it's supposed to be snowing until tomorrow or maybe through tomorrow even a winter storm warning probably a good thing I'm under this tarp huh <laughs> uh, can't wait for dinner Campfire now. Well, as luck has it, as the snow starts falling and piling up massively outside, dinner is just coming off the campfire. Just got it done. Look at that. Wow. Campfire food is just great. Thanks, Diane. Man, that was a great dinner. It really was. Luckily, I have more cocktail. So a good thing after any good dinner, it's 
nice cocktail. Ugh. Yeah, it's gonna be a good night. Wind stopped blowing, so maybe it won't be too chilly. Oh, oh! I gotta get this plate out of here before the bears come. Not me. Are you bringing me my cup? Papa. Thank good you. Job. Thank you. Come over here, here and sit with Papa for a minute. Papa. Yeah! He might be stinky. We're off to get ready for bed. Are you going to go nighty night? Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mama? Thank you. Thank you for bringing my cup. You say you're welcome. Can you say love you? Hello. Good job. Night night. <laughs> night night. Night night. <laughs> Papa. Yeah, it's Papa. <laughs> oh, Papa. we love Papa. <laughs> okay, bye bye, Papa. Bye bye. Papa. We'll see you later. Oh, that was nice of Felix to bring me my cup. Hey, what's that? Dessert? Brownies? This is the best campground ever! Who says you can't make things on a campfire? Thanks, babe. You're a tart. <laughs> I'll go camping more often. That's good. Good morning. I gotta tell you, hot tent camping is not what it's cracked up to be. It was cold, definitely not hot. Looks like the sun's finally coming up. Hopefully there's a bunch of snow out there to make this all worthwhile. I don't think so though. Uh, let's go check it out. Well, there you have it. Big snowstorm. Not exactly what I was expecting. Don't know if it was all worthwhile. Oh, well, yeah, there was brownies. Don't think that car is going to need four-wheel drive to get out of there. Well, survived the night. I got to say, it did get cold, though. That whole hot tent camping thing uh, didn't happen in this tent. Of course, those guys have wood stoves. No wood stove in this thing. I did have a heater though, but when I laid down on the cot, the height of the heater, the fan blew over the top of the cot and not onto me. That didn't work. So, there were some mistakes made. Let's call them lessons learned. One, don't take a summer tent with a mesh roof out winter camping. I can tell you from experience, heat does not stay in a mesh roof tent. Especially when the wind came up a few times, blow my little tarp up, and that was just like a cold fan coming into that tent. What little heat I did have was instantly gone. But, hey, it was fun. I, uh, uh, I wish there was more snow, which there wasn't. But on the other side, it was probably for the best too, because 
Well, for all the reasons already stated. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the parody on winter tent camping. I had a lot of fun doing it. Thanks for watching. Hey, maybe I could do part two. It's people that have adventure vans and diesel heaters that do it all the time. Diane, I've got an idea of something to buy. Hey, don't run away. Come back here. Well, as you can see, the weatherman missed it by just a couple of days. This is what I was hoping for. But maybe next time. <laughs>